Beyond insecurity and other well-known challenges discouraging farming in Nigeria, a major issue is the decline in young people inheriting the trade. Many youths are dissuaded by the belief that farming brings hardship, often saying, I don't want to suffer like my parents. Farming, once a backbone of the economy, is being abundant, especially in areas like palm wine tapping and gari production. Despite its lucrative potential, the desire for quick wealth has led many young people away from this vital business. Premium Times is on the streets of Abuja to understand why. The children nowadays, you, are you hearing me? Some of them, they have the zip, but they, they turn off to the other way of office, which is, you know, many of them are they are too addicted to form or other thing. So that way, you know, for them talking about chatting and uh, doing so kind of business. Football is my passion. I love playing football. So I don't see myself doing any other thing other than football. I, I wasn't thinking farming was I, I, the actual the rest of the aspects that I was thinking that I was that I, I was having in mind wasn't that a fish farming or poultry farming or I was having in mind of um, uh, going into the normal system of farming. But uh, maybe making it a kind of a compliment. Yes, actually, my when when my dad is alive, well, it's late already. I when I was coming up, I made then my father, my mom, when they are family, they farm a lot before before he's, he have gone to to meet with the Lord. When he's alive, that is when I have the need to farm. But immediately, is is no more. So the need just that. No, family is something I love so much and i always wish to be a farmer yes because um growing up i saw my mom um, doing farming yes she had turkeys and chickens and the rest and i was also opportune to at least follow her to do one or two things on the farm i can go into full-time farming but i can but I can go into farming, but not full time. You understand? I can add maybe, like, I'm an Igbo man, so I'm a businessman, so I can go into different businesses. So I can still add farming to the businesses. You understand? Of course, yes, I have plans for farming. I'm working on it. Yes, if I'm able to do uh, with my other skills, if I'm able to, after my skills acquisition and going into getting a job and working, I think I'm going to have a farm. Farming itself is a profitable business, especially now in Nigeria that uh, 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 we lack uh, food production. The only thing that is discouraging me now to go into farming business may be the financial aspect of it. There is no easy access to, uh, to bank to go and collect loan. As a young one now, you, when you want to go to bank to collect loan, they will start giving you manner of uh, condition, different type of condition. Uh, the challenges, the challenges I have, and I think it's um, what most of the Nigerian youth are actually facing that is stopping them from going into farming is um, the financial challenges, because um, there's no way you can actually go into farming now without having a lot of capital. The solution is that uh, the government to look into into farming system as well. Uh -huh. We have been talking about oil and all that things, but farming is also a little bit of something that, that, will, that will help the use. And we are talking that there's, there's no job employment. This can also be a way of creating uh, 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 creating job job employment for, for the for the youth. Of course, I can do Gary production. Yes, I can do it. Why not? If I have the then available equipment. Farming is not a bad job. Farming is not a bad, like, it's a lucrative job, you understand? Because if you go into different types of farming, like fishery, poultry, and maybe storage, you see that if you start any of these, you definitely have incomes, you understand? And my ideology in farming is, if you want to start a farming business, you start big. What, what the government is supposed to do to support young farmers is to empower them. More surely goes living in the rural area. They are really suffering. It is clear that multiple factors, poor government policies, 
lack of education on farming, limited market access are discouraging people from taking up farming. To address this, the government must invest in mechanized farming, improve market access, and empower young farmers to secure the future of agriculture.